chemical reactions are characterized by certain changes which are easily observed. Today we will discuss about characteristics of chemical reactions. First, the change of color. In some chemical reactions, the color of the reactants gets changed. For example, when hydrogen sulfide gas is passed through blue colored solutions of copper sulfate, black colored copper sulfide is formed. And the word equations is copper sulfate, which is blue in color, hydrogen sulfide, which is gas. This G stands for the gaseous state. Copper sulfide form which is black in color and sulfuric acid also form. Now we know that these are the reactants and these are the products. So initially the color of the solution is blue due to the presence of copper sulfate. But when this copper sulfate react with hydrogen sulfide, it will form copper sulfide which is black in color. That's why the resultant solutions will be black. The next characteristic is change of state. The change of state. There are some chemical reactions which are characterized by the change of physical state of the reactor. That is, the reaction might start with a particular physical state and end up with the other physical state. For example, when hydrogen gas reacts with oxygen gas, then water is formed, which is liquid. And the word equation will be hydrogen gas, G stands for the gas, oxygen gas, and the product is water, which is liquid in nature. So that means the state of the reactant sites is gas, but state of the product side is a liquid. So we can conclude that the reaction might start with a particular physical state and end up with other physical state. Student, please note this S stands for solid, L for liquid state. G for gaseous state, AQ for aqua solutions, that means the solutions in water as a solvent. Next is the change of smell. There are some chemical reactions which result in the change of smell. For example, when an egg rots, it begins to smell. That means these shows that our chemical reactions have taken place. The next characteristics of the chemical reactions is the evolutions of gas. In some chemical reactions, a gas is evolved along with the products formed. For example, on strongly heating solid ammonium chloride above 340 degree centigrade it decomposes and during these decompositions ammonia gas is evolved along with the formations of hydrogen chloride and the word equations will be ammonium chloride on heating it will produce ammonia gas and hydrogen chloride please note the arrow pointing upwards shows the evolution of gas. In some cases, where one of the reactants is liquid or in a solution form, evolutions of gas can be seen by the formations of bubbles in the liquid. The formations of gas bubbles with a sound in a solution is termed as Effervescence. So that means effervescence means the formations of gas bubbles with a sound in the solutions. 
Now the next one, formation of precipitate. The fifth one. In some chemical reactions, when two solutions are mixed together or a gas is passed through a solution and in soluble solid substance known as precipitate is formed. An insoluble solid substance which is formed during the chemical reactions is termed as precipitate. For example, when Solution of silver nitrate is added to a solution of sodium chloride. These two are the clear solutions. A white precipitate of silver chloride is formed. That means silver chloride is an insoluble solid. And the word equations will be silver nitrate. A cube means aqueous solutions. Sodium chloride aqua solution. It will produce silver chloride, which is insoluble in the solution. Thus, it is termed as a precipitate, and the color of this precipitate is white in nature. It will produce and sodium nitrate is formed. Student, please note the arrow pointing downwards shows the precipitation of a substance during the chemical reaction. The arrow pointing downwards shows the precipitation of a substance during the chemical reactions. The next characteristics of the chemical reactions is change of heat energy during the chemical reactions. Either heat absorbed or evolved. Almost all chemical reactions take place with the absorptions or evolutions of energy in the form of heat depending upon whether the heat energy is absorbed or evolved chemical reactions are generally of two types number one endothermic reactions and number two exothermic reactions so first when heat absorbed the first case a chemical reactions in which heat energy is absorbed by the reactants is called an endothermic reaction endothermic reaction as heat energy is absorbed by the reactants an endothermic reaction causes fall in temperature for example when nitrogen and oxygen gases are heated to a very high temperature about 3000 degree centigrade nitric oxide is formed The next case that heat release a chemical reaction in which heat energy is released along with the formation of products is called an exothermic reaction. An exothermic reaction causes rise in temperature. For example, when water is added to calcium oxide a large amount of heat energy is released along with the formations of calcium hydroxide which boils the water the huge amount of heat energy is evolved this calcium oxide quick sometimes termed as quick lime when react with water it will produce slate lime calcium hydroxide and large amount of heat energy is released which boils the water so these are the six characteristics of chemical reactions today we have learned two new terms one is effervescence and it is the formation of gas bubbles with the sound in the solution these are the formations of gas bubbles in the solutions. And another term, precipitate. Precipitate. It is an insoluble solid formed on reactions of two solutions. And this precipitate shown by the down headed arrow. So there are six 
characteristics of chemical reactions change of color change of state change of smell evolutions of gas formations of precipitate heat absorbed or evolved and in the, under the heading of heat absorbed or evolved two new terms we have introduced one is endothermic reactions in which heat energy is absorbed and another is exothermic reactions where heat energy is evolved for exothermic reactions an exothermic reaction causes rise in temperature while an endothermic reaction causes fall in temperature okay students so we can learn that characteristics of the chemical reactions stay home stay safe